Hey, Francisco Peraza. Hello, Gerardo Magaña. Hello, good evening, teacher. good evening. Hello, Carlos Sanabria. Les vamos a dar un minutito para que se conecten todos. Correcto. Sí. Cabal. Y este, y lo y el cable. Excelente. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong, long and strong to the break of dawn because today is Wednesday and we are ready to get into the English class. Is everybody ready? Are you ready? Is everybody yes. ready? <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. How are you? How are you? Fine. We're fine. We're fine. Fine. Good. Super cool, teacher. Super cool. Yeah. Super, super yes. cool. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Thank now, you. Who can tell me? Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information? Do you remember about if, yesterday's class? If you want, I can tell you. Yes, please. Okay, I remember. Go ahead, Brian. I, I remember that we talk, talk, talk yes. yes. about the use of the did and wh question that's correct can you give me an example for example if i wanna ask somebody did you did you go to swim ah okay so i can ask que hiciste ayer que hiciste ayer right so i'm gonna say for example uh, one second. What? What? Yeah, in this case, we're going to say, for example, eh, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? You can say, yeah. I worked. And exercised. Okay. Uh, where, where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? All right. And then you respond. I went. I went to the bank okay uh, who who did you spend your day with yesterday 
who did you spend your day with yesterday? I spent my day with my son and my two Rockweilers. Okay, what did you watch on net Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch anything because I did not have time. Um, what did you eat? Yeah. Yesterday, we say, I ate tuna and vegetables. Okay? So, I would like for everybody to copy these examples in your notebook. Copy these examples in your notebook, please. Copy these examples in your notebooks, please. Is everybody finished? Yes. Janet, you finished? Todos, yes. terminam todos terminamos de copiar? Yeah. Yeah. ¿Quién no ha terminado? Who's not finished? Levante la mano. Okay. Maria, no ha terminado? No. Okay.
finish. Is everybody finished? Todos terminamos? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, yes. now what you are going to do is we are going to practice the conversation. One student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the questions. Let me have one volunteer, un voluntario. All right. Very good. Carlos Calderon. Carlos Calderon, please ask Mr. Santos the question. And Mr. Santos is going to respond to the question. Okay. Mr. Santos, what did you what did you do yesterday? I went to the bank. I exercised in my home gym. I worked in my home office. I read my Bible. I played marbles. Marbles means canicas with my son. Okay. Next question. Question. Where did you go yesterday? I went to Usulutan. I went to the bank. Who did you spend your day with yesterday? I spent my day with my son, and my two Rockweilers. What did you watch on Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch anything on Netflix yesterday because I didn't have time. But the, what did you eat yesterday? I ate tuna and vegetables. Do you know what is tuna? Atun. Atun. Yes. That's right. Tuna is atun. atun. Very good. Sandra, continue. Sorry? All right. Now we are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Practice the conversation in pairs. You will have five minutes. Si termina antes, puede hacerlo otra vez. Y si termina antes, puede hacerlo otra vez. Y si termina antes, puede hacerlo otra vez. Y si termina antes, puede hacerlo otra vez. Cuando regresemos lo van a hacer a capela, sin leerlo, porque yo lo voy a estar viendo, si lo está leyendo, tiene que memorizar las preguntas y la respuesta. Va a tener cinco minutos. Let's go. Any questions? I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Um... Uh, if I want to answer another thing, for example, in the question said, uh, what did you watch on Netflix yesterday? I can answer, for example, currently I'm watching some, some movie or series. No. Mm -mm. Because you are practicing simple past. So if you say currently, actualmente, I am watching, estoy viendo, in that case, you're not practicing simple past. Okay, and what is the, uh, 
Croatia, yeah? Conjunction, no. Uh, no what? Composition. Composition, uh, the word watch. Let's see. Watched. I watched, watched a Dark. I okay. watched Heroes. Okay. I watched Wonder Woman. I okay. watched Wonder Woman. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Hang on, the, guys, the objective, yes. the objective of this activity is to practice the simple past. Okay? Not simple present. Simple past. Okay, any questions? Does anybody have any questions? No questions? Okay, practice. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Let's go. Vámonos Zari, vámonos María Burgos, vámonos Zari, vámonos Sandra, vámonos Francisco, tiene que entrar a la sesión privada, tiene que darle clic donde dice ingresar a sesión privada. Vámonos Sandra, solo usted ha quedado. Sandra está trabajando con Daniel. Vámonos, Sandra.
Ok, eh, ahora ah, pregúntame también. What did you do yesterday? Eh, what yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? Eh, I went to the bank in the morning. Who did you spend your day with yesterday? I spent my day with my dog. What did you watch on Netflix yesterday? Hey, I didn't watch Netflix because I don't have an account of Netflix. What did you eat yesterday? I ate fried chicken with fries. Okay, good. It's okay. Something more. <laughs> Any question? <laughs> Estamos. I tam. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the questions? Does anybody have any questions about the questions? Nobody have any questions about the questions? Does somebody, anybody, have anybody, somebody, one body, two body, nobody, anybody have, Ricardo, what is your question? How do you say tortilla in English? Tortilla is tortilla. Tacos, taco. Mango, mango. Poposa, poposa, enchilada, enchilada, burrito, burrito. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I can see that a lot of people are finished. So right now we're going to change partners. Vamos a cambiar parejas y practicar nuevamente. Eh, ¿Quién es? Quiero ver quién estaba. Eh, había alguien acá que no podía entrar, no sé. Todos pudieron entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, ok. Ready, let's go. Practice, practice. Practice, practice. Practice, practice. Zari no entró a su pareja, es Herman Reyes, lo está esperando porque no entró. Zari Villanueva. Zari Villanueva. Zari Villanueva. Zari Villanueva. Zari Villanueva. No escucho. No escucha. No, o sea, es bien poco, es entrecortado. Tengo muy mala señal, la verdad. Ah, ok. Ah, pues voy a poner a Germán en el 5 con Brian. Bueno, por lo menos entre, la voy a poner con el 3 con María y Mario. Por lo menos entre y, y quedes en silencio para que no esté aquí sola. Porque yo tengo que ir a monitorear. I did eat a hamburger with fries. Good. Delicious. Ok, en este caso no tiene que decir I did eight. Va a decir I. Porque tengo ate. el verbo. Ah, ajá. Solo va a decir I ate uh, ham a hamburger with fries. With fries. Okay. Yo tenía, ajá, yo tenía el verbo así, pero me confundieron. Ah, ok, que no la confundan. Uh -huh. 
I don't want to correct her teacher. <laughs> yeah, correct her. Si usted sabe correcto, correct her. Okay. So it's your turn, Maria. Okay. What? I didn't watch any in Netflix because I don't have Netflix account. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I am a poor man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Sandra, what did you watch on Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch anything because I didn't have time. Oh, really? You very spent your time. Yeah. And Carlo, what did you eat? I ate fried chicken with fries. Oh, it's in the first <laughs> in the lounge, yeah. especially pollo master. Okay, is that good? That's good. Yeah. Sandra, what did you eat yesterday? I ate pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> did you do pupusa? Yes, I did. I did. Okay. Well, it's a good When? Who is the answer? I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. Her, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to ask uh, Ricardo, what did you do yesterday? I worked uh, today all day because my day, my my day, my day was is very uh, very uh, busy. No, interesting. Muy oh. interesting. This is a question for uh, our teacher. <laughs> okay, uh, Carlos, what did you do yesterday? Um, I worked yesterday all, all day. Okay. Ricardo, um, where did you go yesterday? I went to the company and I went to visit my mother. Okay. Carlos, where did you go yesterday? I went to the bank in the morning. In the morning. Okay, and who did you spend your day with yesterday, Carlos? I spent my day with my dog. With your dog? How's the name of your dog? His name is Chester. Chester? Chester. Chester. Oh, Chester. Chester. <laughs> like a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Like a singer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ricardo, um, who did you, did you spend your day with yesterday? Uh, yesterday I spent um, with my customer, customer and with my mom. Okay, and what did you watch on Netflix yesterday? Uh, well, I didn't watch uh, anything because uh, all day I work. Okay, and Carlos, what did you uh, watch on Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch on Netflix because I don't have a account <laughs> of Netflix. <laughs> okay. And what did you eat yesterday? Uh, I ate uh, meat. Okay, and you, Carlos, what did you eat yesterday? And I ate fried chicken with fries. Okay. In the noon. Okay, do so you gonna ask, Carlos? Yes. Uh, okay. What did you do yesterday, uh, Sandra? I work and exercise. It's good. And what did you do yesterday, Ricardo? I worked all day. It's a hard day. Very hard, very hard. Yeah. Where did you go yesterday, Sandra? 
I went to the bank. In the morning, in the afternoon. In the, af in the afternoon. In the afternoon. I don't I, and I didn't how about, listen to you. I, <laughs> I didn't listen. Where did you go yesterday, Ricardo? Um, I went to the company and I went to the mother house. That's good. And where do you work, Ricardo? Uh, I work in Colsey. Ah, it's Colsey. good. That's right. It's good. Uh, who did you spend your day with yesterday, Sandra? I spent uh, my day with my daughter. Daddy. No, no, bye. No, bye. Uh, what did you do, spend your day with yesterday, Ricardo? I spent my... Me permite un momentito, lo dejo solo un segundo. I, I spent my customers and, and my mother. What did you watch on Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch anything. <laughs> I didn't have time. What did you eat yesterday? What did you eat yesterday? Uh, I'm sorry. What did you eat yesterday? I ate meat and vegetables and vegetables and rice. Okay. And what did you watch on Netflix yesterday, Sandra? I didn't watch anything because I didn't have time. Okay, what did you eat yesterday? I ate tuna and vegetables, say the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh -huh. The finish, man, that's all. I think okay. so. We have to wait. See, okay, we have to. Uh... All right, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. <clears throat> Two volunteers at this moment. Two volunteers at this moment. No, 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 no. Only two. All right, Gerardo. <laughs> Magaña, Gerardo Magaña. One more volunteer. Another volunteer. I'm here. Brian, very good. So, Brian, I want you to respond to the questions. And I want Gerardo, please ask the questions. Gerardo, ask the questions. Brian, respond to the question. Can we start? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brian, what did you do yesterday? I studied English uh, and I did my homework. Okay. Uh, where did you go yesterday? I went to the bank, then I went to the supermarket. Okay. Uh, who did you spend your day with yesterday? In the morning, I spend my time with my friends, but in the afternoon, I spend my time with my family. Okay. What do you watch uh, on Netflix yesterday? I didn't watch anything because I don't have time. I didn't okay. have and time. What did you eat I, yesterday? I didn't have time. And what did you eat yesterday? I ate pupusas at the dinner. Okay. I ate pupusas for dinner. 
for the dinner, for the for the dinner. Okay, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Applause for the participants. Good job. Okay, now guys, what I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and look at exercise 1.8, knowledge check. Which option is a correct way to answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? You born where city in this? My favorite subject, which is correct. I was 15 years old. So at this moment, I'm going to give you five minutes and I want you to complete exercise 1.8 in pairs. Exercise. 1.8 in pairs. Okay. Any questions? No. All right, let's go. 1.8 in pairs. Let's go. Five minutes, five minutes. Ricardo, buenas noches. No tenés audio. Bueno, sí, no.
¿no? ¿Verdad? Ah, ahora sí. Sí. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Mustafa, fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very good. Okay, Ricardo. I work here today. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> What, what, do you, what uh, are you doing right now? Studying. Well, the question and the answer. Uh, the, In the class. Okay. The, which lesson? The lesson 1.8. Lesson 1.8. Eight? Yes. Oh. 1.8. Okay. Okay. I have a question with the eight. Where do I go to studying in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. It was. Okay. Who are you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, I was. And a second question is You're born. Are you finished? In this? We're seeing this. Finish? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. We're practice. Okay, that's good. John, you're born where city in this? You were born in the city. Can be there in Usulutan. Ah, no, ya. Ahorita está cayendo una tormenta. Very strong. De respeto. We needed that in, in Metropan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now it's coming down. Pueden escuchar? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. You live in in Sulutan? Pueden you escuchar? Can you hear? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's raining rice. Yeah. <laughs> Agárrense. Que va a empezar a volar esto. Es que el paraguas. Ay, ahorita estoy así. <laughs> yeah. Como que si es de película. Si se mueve bastante la palmera. <laughs> ya se va a ir volando la palmera. Ok, let's check, let's check. Ok. So we got the first one says, which option is correct. correct number one carlos calderon where you could where you uh, uh excuse me where you a good student in high school yes i was yes i was okay ricardo figueroa put these words in the correct order you were born in this city. You born yeah. where city in this? In the, in the tree. Were you born in this city? Very good. Were you born in this city? The next one, Janet Villanueva. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> then, the number three. Uh, was uh was where your favorite subject in high school what were your favorite subjects in high school is correct is that correct mm -hmm. yes number four brian which is correct um when was your report that's right. When was Peter born? Number five, Maria Burgos. Oh, oh were you in, in uh, 1999? 
Very good. How old were you in 1999? Okay, correct, everybody. We are good job. Okay, now I would like for us to look at the next one, which is 1.9 building conversation. 1.9 using the be verb used to. Because your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb it's going to be in the present. So I used to, and in this case, be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally we're going to have some sort of complement that um, 
uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. And now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't use to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here because there's a terrible tropical storm coming down. So you will have that as homework. All right. See you tomorrow, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. Good night. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night.